Good evening, AI fans, and welcome back to Orlando, Florida. We are here on the back end of our Click Connect programming. My name is Savannah Peterson. Very delighted to be here, joined by Shelly Kramer this evening. Shelly, what a fun day we've had. An amazing day. Yeah. Absolutely. So glad to be here. Me too, and you just had a wonderful lineup of insights from, from your day, but uh, my favorite thing that you have said today was that you can't fake culture, and you nailed it. <laughs> it really is, it really is just oozing with good vibes here, and speaking of good vibes, we've got David joining us. He's like the king of good vibes at Click yeah. on the Alliances side. Thank yes. you for taking the time to hang out with us today. We appreciate I that. I appreciate the invite. Yeah, it's yeah. exciting. What is it like for you to be in a room full of all your friends? all your people, all your strategic alliances? Well, you know, it's good to see a lot of the people that we don't get to see often. And so, um, mm -hmm. particularly this year, uh, really happy with the turnout from around the world. Yeah. So our partners and our partner managers and alliance managers from around the world are here. Uh, we had great uh, response to the, to the show from Asia Pac especially, like over 50. Uh, partners from Asia back alone are here, awesome. from uh, from uh, Australia and, and Japan especially. So we're just really excited to see everybody. There's a lot of good energy, um, and you can't beat that. No, nope. that's much better than a Zoom. Yeah, absolutely. Oh gosh. Yeah. 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 Is this the first Click Connect since the pandemic? Uh, no, no, we had Click World last, oh, no, last, last year. Yeah, we had Click World last year, and um, and uh, it was good too. It's Las Vegas last year, but it was good. But this is this year's better. This year's even better. I, 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 it was so fun. I got to interview a bunch of the customers today, and the the joy mm. and and the decision to come and coming from Ireland, Brazil, from all yeah, over the world. Right. You've got all your people here right yeah, now. Yeah, we do. We do. Which yeah. is really indicative of how important it is for that worldwide community to plug in. Click had a lot of announcements this morning. I'm curious if you have a favorite. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love the Click Answers. Yeah, yes. I love Click Answers. You know, um, the that acquisition for us. Um, you know, checked a lot of boxes, and I think it's it will be a game changer for for our customers and partners. It puts us in a great spot with our tech alliances. Um, it's a great play in the ecosystem. So I, I love that one. That that's a I love all of them, but uh, I love the click answers. And of course, announcing the SCA with Amazon was a, was a big honor to to announce the SCA. Well, and I think I want to dive in a little bit to click answers because we haven't covered it in great depth. But to me, what's so exciting about that is. As a user, being able to seamlessly ask questions of yep. your data and be able to get those insights, I think that is just a game changer. It for is. So, you know, in really such a big way, and I think that's significant. And so, but you get that, and then you get the security and the governance, which we've right. already talked about is such a table stakes thing today. Right. So I think that that to me is what makes answers just so attractive, and I love the Talent Cloud solution, and I yeah. love the announcement about the alliance with AWS, which we're right. going to talk about further, but I am so psyched about, uh, about Click Answers. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm excited to sort of see what sort of innovation our partners and customers do around things like Click Answers. You know, I don't think we know yet how, yeah. uh, how, what sort of innovation we'll see from that, but I'm excited to, to see that, yeah. So, yeah, I, I am too, and I think it's, it's well, I think anything's possible, quite frankly, right now. Yeah. You work with partner. You work across the organization with partners, with a whole bunch of people to help folks figure out how they're going to approach their AI yeah. challenge. Right. I can imagine you're having some pretty interesting conversations. People probably all over oh, yeah. the spectrum in terms of very excited, maybe a little overwhelmed and right. nervous. Right. What are some of the trends you're seeing? Um, and how well, do you guide people through that process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, I think the, the, the range of expertise in our partner and alliances community is sort of wide. Yeah. Uh, we've got people who've lived comfortably sort of in the analytics world with business intelligence, BI, and, and, uh, and visualization. And so, you know, asking them to adopt and to be comfortable in, a, in an AI world, it's going to be a little bit out of their comfort zone. Sure. Uh, but I think the enablement team, the learning and learning management system upgrades and refresh that we're going to do is going to help people. They'll have little bite-sized nuggets of, of learning they can do. That will help them get a little more comfortable. And I think the more projects that are done, uh, the more experiments that we're able to do, those will give people a chance to get more comfortable in a world of AI mm -hmm. and experimentation. And um, you know, and I think over time we'll we'll see a lot of people a lot more comfortable in that space. But um, Mike said it in the keynote. Um, you know, we you, you could you can ruin your business if you get this wrong. Yeah. But if you move too slow, you'll be left out. 
Yeah. So you do have to sort of find that uh, the, the the middle there that is the best for, you know for you and and uh, make sure the customers in the middle of that conversation. You know, one of the things that I think really helps with that, and one of my favorite parts of any keynote, um, Mike talked about just a few customer use cases. And one of the things that really um, impressed me was he was talking about Urban Outfitters. And he was talking about how in store, when you're talking about, generally speaking, pretty young salespeople, yeah. clerks and stuff like that, who are, yeah. I don't know what we call them today, right? Working at retail. Right. But it's like having that access at their fingertips right. to real-time data is really changing the playing field right. in the retail space. And I yeah. think that, you know, uh, what Mike shared was that 650 plus right. Urban Outfitters locations are using this. Mm -hmm. um, I think that when we look at things like he shared the, the customer uh, use case of Vail, and you know, when you can see things like 600 millions in savings attributed to the use of Click. Right. Hi. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'd like to save exactly. $600 million. Dollars. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. works for me. Yeah. Or, I'm keen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. La and yeah. lastly, he mentioned Penske, and, um, and they prevented over 90,000 trucks right. from failing on the road last year. Okay, so when you hear those as a potential customer, and you're trying to get arms around your own data management and, right. and AI and everything else, and, and like we just talked about, you're a little scared, you know you can't not do this, but you don't quite know where to start and that sort of thing, but when you hear things like this, it's like, wait a minute, these are problems we need to solve for too. And right. I think that's sort of where you have a light bulb moment yeah. and you think, okay, this makes sense. And, and it, it takes the concept of data management, analytics, AI, AI power, data and analytics, and all that, it makes it a little less scary. Yeah, you know? when you think you about those three use cases, they, they run the gamut, right? You've yeah. got data democratization with, you know, te potentially teenagers running stores. Yeah. You've got IOT and, and uh, device data and uh, you know, with trucks. Yeah. You've got all that in the middle with supply chain and logistics and I think it sort of speaks to the power of the platform to really look at any sort of use and there's hundreds of examples like this that don't make it onto the stage, right? And so I think that's sort of the beauty of the platform approach is you, know, you can really approach any data and analytics problem and you've got an opportunity to go and solve that with the, with the Click platform, and that's really powerful. It is yeah. really, yeah. it, it is yeah. absolutely powerful. Yeah. I want to shift gears a little bit okay. for a second. You mentioned, with a nice smile on your face as we sat down, that you just became the grandfather to three grandbabies. I am. I'm to a, triplets. To triplets. Yes, congratulations yeah, thank you. again. That is so exciting. Let's look at them <laughs> 25 years from now, those, those beautiful little triplets. What do you hope the solutions and things that we're doing today are building for their future. Oh, wow. Man, I hope it's a safe place to live and grow up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know I hope what? it's safe for them. But. I'm going to help you out and say that what Click is able to do on the sustainability front, by the way, sustainability yeah. is right here behind right. us, yep. but you have just formed an alliance, a climate change focused alliance, right. that is a global mm -hmm. initiative that's helping monitor yeah. and spur adoption right. of all climate sure. change things and sure. climate technology. So that should have a, an yeah, outsized so impact I mean, on all our kids. The, I think the there's so many we talk about being true believers yeah. in uh, in data. You know that data can help solve problems, and and when we say that, you know sometimes maybe we think it's a throwaway comment, mm -hmm. but there are such big, great big problems to solve, and you know we can solve those with uh, with 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 data yeah. and with insights. And so, um, I guess to answer the question, I don't know. I hope it's a safe place. <laughs> I hope we can solve some of these big yeah. challenges, geopolitical and otherwise, and. Um, and uh, whatever. So yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm not. I'm not uh, fearful at all. No. Yeah. Uh, so, but what uh, would you encourage? Let's just talk about that for a second. What would you encourage folks who are a little scared right now? What's your advice to them? Uh, mm, learn. Yeah. Uh, be curious. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, dig into the technology a little bit. Uh, now, you're talking about parenting or technology? <laughs> I could be talking about Either whatever one you want and to answer that answer question is to. The same. That's why the I didn't clarify anything when I threw that back yeah. to you. Could go, could go any direction. That's funny. No, yeah. I think uh, you know whether you're a parent or a technology person. I think you know being curious and learning yeah. will help demystify Absolutely. and you know remove some of that fear about about things. And uh, all of us are afraid of the things we don't know about. So. Mm -hmm. 
I have uh, twin high school seniors just graduated, heading off to college in the fall. And one of the them. things that I tell them all the time is always be curious yeah, and always. embrace continuous learning. Because I think that no matter what career path you have ahead of you, those are the things that can not only set you on the path to success, mm -hmm. but really help you get the most value out of your career, out of your right. work life, all of that sort of thing. So, That's right, yeah. yeah. Yep. So I Life have a question, is Pat the father of the triplets? No, that's uh, that Christian. Christian is the firstborn. Okay, well I'm just asking because I happen to be stalking you on LinkedIn and I <laughs> saw you have an amazing son named Pat who's looking for a job in sales and yes. I'm just going to give him a shout out and say, okay, hey, yeah. if you need a great sales rep, you should really check out Pat yeah. Zemmer. Like I said, if you want somebody <laughs> who's not fun, he's not the one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. You did say that in yeah, your post. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Yeah, he's great. I love well, it. Well, and you actually, speaking of salespeople, you said you said that AI is never going to replace salespeople. I did say that. Yeah. Tell me why you think that. Um, well, I think you know if you're if uh, successful salespeople are relationship people, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's so important to build a high trust relationship with your customers. And whether your customer is a partner and their customer is the customer or your customer is a direct, you sell direct to somebody, an enterprise or whatever. I think that, that high trust relationship, you can, you're never, I don't think you can replace that with AI. Mm -mm. I agree. I think AI will help, will augment some things and will make us more productive. It are, maybe it already is. But um, I think people, when people want to make uh, big decisions and, and buy things that matter, um, I think they'll always want to trust someone yeah. that they trust to I help agree. them through that process. I agree. I yeah. think you're absolutely, I mean, word of mouth always been the best marketing. I think yeah. it's still going to oh, keep yeah. being the best no marketing. Doubt. No no, doubt. I, I love that as an example. I, 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 I try and think of examples of professions that aren't going to go anywhere all the time. And I don't, I don't think AI is taking our jobs. I think it's just going to make them suck yeah. less. I think it's going to create a lot of jobs, which is going to be. I think it will too. Fantastic, but I do I do like salesperson is one of them. I hadn't thought I hadn't thought about that one as a songwriter, great, yeah. salesperson, right, you right, know, whatever. Same, same, same yeah, skill same, set. Same, I mean, yeah, it's same. making a melody out of something. That's yeah. right. So yeah, you know, it's yeah. kind of I yeah. could go down that analogy yeah. rabbit hole a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, so so. What's next for you and the alliances, the partnership side of things, as you all ramp up with Gen AI and everything else? Where are you going? We've got a lot of enablement that we need to do with our partners, so we'll, you know, we'll work over the next quarter or so to, to get people ramped up on the new right. solutions and the pricing and packaging and mm -hmm. all those sorts of things. And so we've got a lot of work ahead of us there. Um, we're always recruiting a few new partners here and there where we need them to, to help grow the business. Um, and then I think uh, you know, on the technology alliances side, um, we maybe we'll see a few new uh, members of the technology alliances as we um, expand the ecosystem around Gen AI. So I'm, I'm excited about what that might bring. Um, yeah. And of course, the relationship with Amazon, yeah. uh, with the SCA, is necessarily going to create some opportunities for us to to lean in with AWS and work work better and work alongside of them and their sellers and their ecosystem. So well, I'm excited about the a, a, the AWS collaboration really because it will support the AI app development so much yeah. and so it's really has to be tremendous news for the developer community and I think that you know we've we've had lots of great news that benefits customers but right. looking at this I see you know great great uh, kind of hand out to the developer community and that's what we need. That's yeah. what drives innovation and, and yeah. forward progress and right. all of that. So, and I know that you know, you've got 7,000 existing customers who are going to be able to reap the benefits of this via the Click Cloud and, and this solution with AWS. So right. that's exciting. Yeah, that's just today. I mean, that's, as, you know, that's a snapshot in time. Yeah. And um, I heard somebody even, uh, uh, a, a very large customer was asking their AWS rep about the SCA. And so, you know, maybe 7,001 yeah. um, you know, yeah. today. I don't I know, like who it. knows, but. Um, or five, or 10, or you five never know. Or five, or 10, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. right? So it's know. just the tip of the iceberg, I think, for us, for, for our, our SaaS offering. Um, and, uh, and, you know, uh, you know, bigger days ahead of, uh, for us on that, on that side of things. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, very Everybody yeah. wants faster time to value. Big Everyone, time. Everybody wants yep. quicker innovation. Yep. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Click is definitely the partner. If we've learned anything this week, Click is definitely the partner. David, this has been just an absolute joy. Yeah. For me too. I got one final question for you. Okay. So, and we're going to play this back before next year to see if it came true. Okay. <laughs> what do you hope to be able to say sitting next to me just a year from now that you can't quite say yet? Oh wow. Mm. Mm. 
I don't know, that's a good question. That's, that's why we save it for the end, when you oh, think you're man. off the hook and I'm giving you the closing swan yeah, song no, music and then up. you just you come right up. into it. <laughs> no, in a great way though, could be anything. Could be any part of the, what you're up to, yeah. Um, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to see a, a real pivot in our ecosystem approach to things where we see you know, maybe a, a double of our, um, of our cloud business with our partners and ecosystem where they're starting to really, where they're able to reap the benefit of the, of the new offerings yeah. um, and really innovate around them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, our routes to market, whether it's with the OEM team, uh, with our ISV segment where we're embedding our, our technology, our click partners, there's so many routes to market and sometimes we don't look at them that way, sometimes we look at them as in, in their own silos, but when you get them together and they're, they're able to work together, I think there's big opportunity there. I'd love to see us even get a double out of some of that in terms of uh, the way we think about our business. So maybe that's uh, maybe that'll be a good goal for next year. I like that. I think yeah. you just set that goal. Okay. And we'll check in with you a year from now and figure out how it's <laughs> okay. going. All right, very Maybe good. even in triple at that point or something. Maybe Who a knows? You, maybe know, a you, know, you never know. Well, right. I mean, well, the theme it only of the day makes is sense. Triplets. It's only fair, yeah. right? Given fair. your situation. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I love it. I well, love David, it. thank you so much. This okay. has been awesome. And thank you, Shelly, for a fantastic conversation as always. And thank all of you fabulous folks from tuning in wherever you might be on this beautiful rock. We're here in Orlando, Florida, on the very end of Click Connect. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.